Hi, welcome to Start the Day, Start the Week from Felix though at the Level 2 Youth Hub upstairs from Tesco's in Hamilton Road. After massive reductions in expenditure on young people's services across the country over the past 10 or 12 years, we're lucky to have a quality youth service dedicated to helping Felix Day's young people get through the challenges of our times. We went to Tuesday evening's AGM at Level 2 to hear what's happening and before the meeting we had a guided tour from the project manager, Shez Hopkins. The young woman in front of us is a lady called Shez Hopkins who is the boss here at Level 2 and amazingly I've just learned from you that you've been here 13 years. I have. First question, what brought you here to Level 2? What brought me here to Level 2? Yeah. Okay, so my background is in performing arts. Then I, when I had my family, I decided I wanted to, well, I thought I wanted to be a social worker. Yeah. Did a qualification which tunneled me away from that into youth work. Never wanted to do proper youth work in Felixstowe while my children were growing up because I didn't want to work with them on their friends. Mm -hmm. And then this uh, position became available and at a time when my youngest daughter was just going off to uni. And I thought, fantastic. And I got the job. Right. So here you are, here you've are. been doing it for years, things have changed. I can remember coming here years ago at Shez and it looked nothing like this. Yeah. Take me around. Okay, it's been Shez. So, um, the project started in 2001, so we're in mm -hmm. our 22nd year now. Right. Um, and this is our youth hub. It continues to grow and evolve and change in direct response to what young people need and what young people want. Right. We now include also in that families as well. So the computers over here get used after school and in the evenings for gaming and social media. Mm -hmm. um, they're open to young people to come and use during the day for CV writing, job searches. Young person might come up and say, I'm homeless, homeless applications. Um, but essentially they're used for gaming and social media. Yeah. Um, this is our kitchen area. This gets used for, um, for cooking for fun, um, teaching young people how to cook, mm -hmm. cooking on a budget. And I'll just take you around. So this is yeah. room one. So pre-COVID, these were all offices. Right. But now everyone has learned we can work remotely. Right. So we've been able to keep some office space available. Got but this room particularly is used for um, mentoring and counselling. So it's a really nice, cosy space um, for young people or families to come and offload. Okay. Everything in the main area of the hub is really easy to move so we can make it look and feel very different quite quickly. Right. Um, this room at the moment is just storage. And this room is essentially used for counselling, so it's got lots of our um, creative therapeutic play right. equipment in here. And again, another really cosy space for young people or families to come in and offload. Right. right. Hello, girls. Hello. This is the staff. There you go. This is Holly. Holly's one of our counsellors. And mm -hmm. this is Elsa. Elsa's one of our youth workers. Hello. Uh, and this room is the only room, apart from my office, that we've kept just as an office. Right. Um, everyone is working remotely, although we're encouraging people to be up here just so we can have that team connection and keep looking after each other. Yeah, yeah. It's not actually nice to work together, isn't it? It is. This is a great room. This is our creative art room. Hey! Which we're really lucky to have. Yeah. And it get used, <clears throat> gets used for young people just to literally come and have fun and go crazy. Um, it also gets used as a space for mentoring or counselling. If this is the kind of space where a young person finds it easier to offload. Um, and every so often we get the kids just to whitewash over it and we start again. But as you can see, <laughs> they can be creative. Yeah, yeah. And it's Excellent. a space that we don't have to clear up. And there's lots of fun on the ceiling. There's right, lots I love of it. fun on the ceiling. <laughs> and we do go around and check what's on the wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. This was done over yeah. by the co-op. Right. Um, not just the money donated, but they right. came in and did it for us, which really? is amazing. Yeah. Um, it gets used for meetings, um, another space for young people just to hang out. Mm -hmm. We've got the TV in here, so we quite often might bring a whole group of young people in here 
and play a YouTube clip just yep. to create some discussion and some learning. So when we're open up here after school and in the evenings and at weekends, mm -hmm. there's always time in the session where we bring the young people together and we have a discussion or we do an activity right. and that's about early intervention and the kind of topics we deal with are stuff around keeping safe, keeping healthy, being respectful, being right. responsible and other topics that young people tell us that they want to know more about. We'll have more from Level 2's AGM online soon.